Hello, my beautiful Sagittarian family. Here we are. Can you believe it? I took the last few months off of doing these really intimate conversations as I went through a really deep calibration process, uh, grieving, a coming home to myself. And I got this really strong pull to sit down here this month and connect with you from this place of new energetic calibration that I'm still learning to understand. And I am feeling really good about it in this moment. We'll see where the journey continues to take us. But for September, it feels really good to be here. And that got me thinking about the Sagittarian journey over the last few years, the calibration process, the process that is envisioned in the temperance card in tarot, which is the Sagittarius card the alchemy and the calibration that happens when we find our true tone from the inside out. And I think Sages have been on a journey to feel that they had to leave that behind and then come back home to it and find new meaning and depth within that. And we're going to be noticing that this is coming full circle during the month of September. We have a lot of energy in your fellow mutable sign of Virgo. Venus will be there, the sun, of course, Uh, Mercury will be retrograding first in Libra and then back into Virgo. There is a full moon happening in Pisces. Now this is highlighting this Virgo season is going to be highlighting for you how you show up in the world and how you do it from the well of inspiration that is your core at your center. And this is important. This is important. Recently, I was at a party. I live in Stockholm, Sweden. I'm obviously American. I'm somewhat new here, still getting my bearings in Swedish. And I was at a party with people who have kind of more legitimate, stable jobs, you know? Um, And I felt very self-conscious going in there. Tarot astrology girl on YouTube, having to talk about what I do in the world. But you know what happened? I spent the whole night, hours and hours, talking with people about what I do. The hunger for the mythic element of it, for the storytelling, for the depth, for the meaning in life was just so vibrant. I was very surprised. Um, And where I'm going with this is this, Sajis. After these last few years where we were asked to do things in a different modality than sometimes the Sagittarian way, it can feel like we need to analyze what people want from us, how we can offer up our sunshine and our warmth and our presence in a way that feels right for other people. We may be worried that what we have to give is not correct. I know Sages are rebellious and free spirit and doing what they want. However, secretly, Sages are also very motivated by the beauty of life and by wanting to make something beautiful and meaningful and vibrant. But it's none of our business to figure out what people are hungering for. Or to try to figure out what we what they need from us. And Virgo season this year is going to ask you to just show up with your essence. And don't spend any time trying to figure out and philosophize your way into legitimizing that essence. Lean into the mystery of that and use that as your gift that you are sharing with the world, however that is. And that doesn't have to be, you know, loud or flamboyant. It can be. It can also be something that you're doing and alchemizing inside of yourself that you don't need to legitimize it by explaining yourself or trying to make it somehow that fits into the world in a specific way. Know that there is a hunger for your essence that is there. We do not need to be the ones trying to figure it out. 
So Virgo season is going to ask for that. As we move into Libra season, there's a new moon, Venus moves in there. And as we close out Mercury retrograde later in the month, well, it won't be quite the end. You're going to be asked to share some gifts, to show yourself. Ace of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. To reignite your lantern. To practice letting it shine in peace. Eight of Wands. All right. Let me get these in order. <laughs> oh, exciting. Clarity is what I see here. Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Eight of Wands. These are all clear. The way is clear. You know what's interesting about when you get cards like this? The Ace of Pentacles gives you nourishment and resources after a season of perhaps not knowing. A season of going through the shadow. Aces always assume that we have just been through a phase of hunger and not knowing that then brings us a gift knight of swords truth bringer going for it trying it out not holding back eight of wands animating force moving through our bodies moving through our spirits reigniting the lantern all three of these are about an open doorway moving forward. But you know what's a little intimidating about this kind of energy? It means that there's no not knowing where our spirit is calling us. There's no not knowing what needs to shift or change. There's no not knowing that we have to shine bright. There's no not knowing that we can't not, we have to have that conversation. And that can feel really vulnerable. That can feel really scary. Because that means we have to receive love. That means we have to have the honest conversation. It means we have to show something more visible than maybe just the beautiful, cheerful, optimistic exterior that keeps us so safe. In exchange for living more truly in our depths living from that lantern inside and that can feel really vulnerable so take care of yourselves this month but also know this is a beautiful month of opening calibration and knowing it's profound and rich and juicy and i am so excited to see where this takes you sagis as always if you want to hang out with me every week Patreon is my happy place. I am able to do teachings for every single week. Get us in the mood, in connection with what is going on in any given week. Um, my upper tier, we do live Zoom calls. We really help each other out and have an amazing community. I'd love to see you there. You can also find me on my Instagram. There's only one true at Sarah Verba. So make sure to look for that. And you can find me on my email. I'll leave all the links for where to connect with me below. Have a beautiful September, my lovely Sagittarian friends. I love your energy and I can't wait to see where it takes you next.